While Nakaral is one of the best one drops ever printed due to its potential to pressure your opponents quickly, in Popper, cards like Alpine Middle and Elias Presence can make this a monster, while the rest of the deck is full of potent threats like Monastery's Fist Spear, a powerful attacker or Trial Flames that can deal up to 5 damage for just 2 mana. Other cards like Commune with the Spirits will help you find lands and value enchantments like Spirited Companion that can be reutilized with Core Sky Fisher. Now is my favorite color combination and now I will show you how to play it. We keep a slow hand for game number 1, but we have a lot of removal if we get pair against any creature deck. We found Monastery Swift Spear, and given the amount of non creature spells we run, it's almost guaranteed to get a boost every turn. The opponent plays a deck called Poison Storm, which relies on cheap spells to infect your opponents, cast multiple spells, and survive by casting a large Weather the Storm. The opponent found their Poison spell, and now they will try to proliferate their permanents to never run out of mana while keeping their hand full. I proceeded to be more aggressive and tried to put them in a clock as fast as I could by dealing 13 damage in a single turn. However, the opponent kept changing spells together while drawing cards, gaining 12 more lives. Once more, I proceeded to keep pressuring their life points by dealing 9 damage this turn and passing, but with the help of their card spells and infinite mana, my opponent could chain their spells and kill me faster than I could. For game number 2, I remove my Dell spells and add a couple of Pyroblasts to slow down my opponent. While they set up, I will keep pressuring their life totals with a Wild Nakaral. And since I got two Tribal Flames already online for maximum value, I will play one and keep a Pyroblast as a no. counter spell to represent a two turn clock on them and proceed to attack and win the game. In the final game, I decided to keep a one land hand as I had communed with the spirits to search for more. Plus, a good mix of spells. So I play an Akatal and pass while my opponent tries to set up. I found a second Akatal representing 6 total damage per turn for my opponent. They decided to sacrifice one to resolve a second spell and they resolve a massive weather the storm that gained them over 18 life points. I got rid of their chalice and attacked for 6 while they keep proliferating the rest of their permanents. But they are running low on resources, so we are in a good spot despite one of my cats being bounced. I will reveal for now, attack, and then the cattles on the board mean 10 damage per turn along with the spirited companion. That's around a 3 turn clock based on their life total. I will play my spells hoping to draw more value cards to find my tribal flames eventually. After this, I attack, put them to 12, and pass the turn. I attack once more, but they manage to bounce a cat as otherwise the lightning bolt on my hand will have killed them. I resolve as many spells as possible and pass the turn. My opponent failed to find another way to kill me or deal with my creatures and conceded the game. Game number 2 will be against Mowarts, a combo deck that relies on Skirsh Prospector, Putrid Goblin and First Day of Class to win the games. Despite being small, my cats will do a decent job of applying pressure to their board as Swiss Spear joined the party to keep pressuring my opponent's life points while my opponent kept attempting to rebuild. Finally, I killed the goblin and put them down to 3 and during their turn, my opponent decided it was game over. There's not much I can do for game 2 other than to add my artifact hate, so we will just do that. My opponent played a putrid goblin and drew one of the cleanest answers for it in the form of Journey to Nowhere. They then passed the turn and I proceeded to play a swift spear and attack and start fixing my mana. I will cast my Sky Fisher to add more bodies to the board and replay the growth for the extra card while boosting the Swiss Spear and dealing more damage. The opponent played multiple spells in their turn but didn't add much to the board, meaning they were ready to close things in one swing. They play a Goblin and passed. And as planned, Tribal Flames took over the game. We start strong on the final match with a turn 1 Walna Cattle, and thanks to Alpine Midon, it will become a 3 3 on turn 2. Meanwhile, my opponent is playing what seems to be John Tokens, a deck that relies on cards like Cool Daughter Revert, Dual Tokens, and Glimmer Burn as a pseudo attack. I will just play a Spirited Companion and pass. I decided to trade to keep the board small, but they managed to play a second Revert. Luckily, I got a second Nakal and found a Lightning Bolt, which makes attacking their board easier. They just chomp block, so I just pass the turn. They seem to struggle to find the rest of their fixing, so I will kill a token at the end of the turn to force more chump blocks and use my mana more efficiently. I then attack, they block, and put them to 12 and add a third Nakadal to the party to close the game next turn. They managed to resolve some spells and added a couple of bodies to the field, but the cuts were way bigger, and with two tribal flames in hand, this game is over already. Adding some smash to those from the cyborg should be enough against their deck, but I also decided to add some Arbandillo clocks to test them out. I will just trim some of the spot removals that don't deal with the Glimmer Burn if there are too many tokens of the field. 
This hand is decent, so I will keep it and pressure the life points as much as possible. They play a couple of, of the spells and manage to resolve a creature, but that will only last for a while as I will remove it from the game. They play a cool daughter revert and a glimmer burn, so I put the clock on the swift spirit to start gaining life. However, they remove my creature and now I'm in a pretty bad shape as I don't have a way to kill their board. We keep a decent hand for the final match, so I will just play a companion and pass the turn. They played a token maker fast and I decided it was a good idea to trade for my dog. I was fine with that exchange as I just played a sky fisher to return my growth to my hand. The opponent resolved a glimmer burn which is annoying so I will play as many cantrip effects as possible to find an answer for it or the tokens while applying some pressure in the air. They attacked but it was not enough for me to lose so I decided not to block knowing they won't sacrifice any of their tokens. Instead, I played a cantrip and I was lucky to get a smash to dust to get rid of all of their tokens, so I proceeded to cast it and attack for a lot. They added one more body to the field, but it's not enough to stop my attack. And on top of that, I was able to hit a removal for the glimmer burn, so I kept chipping away their life points. The opponent played munitions and passed, so I kept chaining spells to make my Swiss spear bigger and put them on a clock. Eventually, the game was over. Now, if you're new to Pauper and want to test other cool decks, click into that playlist. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.